welcome back to Mount Smart Stadium. Now, this is the point of the show where we would have liked to have brought you actual pictures of Tool and Ramstein, but both of them decided they didn't want to be shown, and there are some quite strict media rules about uh, covering the big day out. So I have decided to fill the gap with this artist's impression of what a pivotal moment in Ramstein's show looked like. This is the lead singer before the crowd, and he, he shot a flamethrower at this cauldron that contained the bass guitarist, and there was a, quite, a, quite a, a profound ejection of flame. It was amazing fireworks. It's, it's, it's just a shame that you couldn't be there, and a shame that, that they didn't want to be, want to be shown. But uh, nevertheless, um, hey, it's no great shakes, but um, it'll have to do. They did, however, talk to David Farrier. Before the stinky sweat fest of the big day out, I sat down with Richard from Ramstein in a swanky hotel. He's glad to be back in New Zealand. It's been 10 years. Been 10 years, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. Since forming in 1994, Ramstein's six man lineup has never, ever changed. How do you remain friends with those guys for that long? I don't think you can actually remain friends, you know, it's becoming something else, almost like, you know, it becomes like, I don't know, family. A family who recently made a porno together. Their video for Pussy featuring all six band members having sex with real German porn stars. We can't show the climax of the video here. I guess like, you know, uh, something about shooting a porn and, 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 and like... Something and, new? And something in, in the band which everyone dreams of, kind of. There's always a dream about it, everyone talks about it, never, nobody has done it, kind of. We're just, yeah, let's do it. Just But then we realized, well, we can put it on, on, on YouTube, you know, all of a sudden. We can not really put it on our site. What do we do with that? You know, we have this video. We put it on a well, porn we, site. Exactly. The video, hosted on a porn site, got 14 million hits in two weeks. Success. Germany is known for engineering, you know, the discipline, you know. But not about the humor, obviously. But there is a lot of humor in us, too. We, it's important that... You know, I think we're right now living in a generation that we overcome the past of the Second World War, kind of, you know. I mean, we still have it in us, but I see like the generation, my children, they're just away. And it's, I think it's a good thing, you know, because there was, there was a lot of guilt in us over years and years and years, and I think we passed that right now. But the most fascinating thing about this band, how they sing primarily in German, but are listened to by millions who don't know a word of German. Overall, it's because they do things big, from the porn, to the music, to the live show. I would thought, well, Ramstein will never reach the point of mainstream because people will not understand the language. But all of a sudden, when you play it as big as we played last time, all of a sudden it becomes an opera, where, where language doesn't matter anymore because in opera you listen to Italian or German or whatever. Opera and Ramstein, two words you never thought you'd hear together. David Farrier. Free news!